Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am your host Anna and my channel name is Only My Dreams. Okay, this is my first ever Timu, Timu haul. Now, what I will say, I did place this haul, this order I should say, November 30th. Today is December 19th. That's how long it took for me to get it and it did not come on time at all. It didn't. The bag came, I can't show you the bag because that's my, my address, but the bag came and you can see where it was broken and ripped in certain places, including in the back, there's three spots where they had to tape it up where it broke. So the bag has been through some things and I'm hoping everything is in there. I want to be completely transparent. I paid for this order myself. They did reach out to me to work with me. I did not want to do a try on for their clothing. I'm a plus size goddess. And their clothing is just not my jam. And I really wanted to get the things that I like. And so I paid for it myself. And I told them, no thanks. I don't I don't need to work with you. I could, I could pay for this on my own. So let me show you what I got. And I wanted to give you a real world turnaround versus people that are affiliates that have codes and what have you. They get their things shipped out to them faster than the average person just, just places an order on their own. So that's the timeline that you're looking at currently. Okay. Just to be clear. All right. So I do have my list here so I can try to cross things off as I go through them. I'm going to start off with the tennis shoes. I did buy some men tennis shoes, but I bought them for like myself and I got them in a size 46 because I'm a size 12 woman. And um, the first pair that I'm going to share with you are the men's woven breathable trainers. So they were $14.98. So I didn't buy like a whole bunch of little cheapy things. I bought stuff that I knew I would want to use. <laughs> you know, it's like I want stuff that I want, you know, stuff that I can actually use. So let's see what the quality is. Here we go. Okay, so these are what the trainers are looking like. Um, very nice so far. Nice. And look at that heel and very cool heel. Then it has all this, you know, writing here that I could have did without. It has a built-in tongue. It's all together. Um, it is breathable here because it has like the mesh here. Um, and hopefully it feels very comfortable. If you touch it, it feels very comfortable um, cushiony wise, it is hard back here on this part. So I'm hoping it'll work out well. I do like the laces and that was $14 and 98 cents fresh out the bag. Then it has this cool stripe. Okay. And it is men's size 46. Cause I wanted to make sure because if they're too big for me, cause it might be too big. I don't know. If it's too big, I know I'm bending over to, to compare it to my, my other tennis shoes. I'll just let my son wear them. You know, there you go. So that was the first set. I do have another set of tennis shoes. Where's the other set of tennis shoes? Of course they fell. Here we go. Here's the other set of tennis shoes. So let me cross this one out. So we did the orange for $14.98. That still was in the bag. Now, these are the men's mesh running shoes for $18.99. So, these are almost $20. $18.99, and green is my favorite color, and that's why I was attracted to it. So, let's take a peek. Very cool looking bottoms, as you can tell. Very wide, cool looking bottoms. Then, this is what they look like. So they have this um, white here, then this um, green, and it has like it juts out in the back a little bit. It's not as cushiony. I don't feel any of the cushion. This shoe has a lot of cushion. The $14.98 ones, if you feel it, it has cushion in the inside. This one does not. So that's the difference right off the bat. Um, that's what it looks like in the back, in the front. Those are the toes, the sides, and let's look at the inside. So it has a very nice, cool look to it. It is breathable. I could see it through the light here in front of me. So all this is mesh. I can see right through it. So if you have a lot of foot sweat and what have you, you know, that might work. It has an attached tongue, so it's not going to move around or anything. And I like the laces. The laces are nice. 
So that's the second set of tennis shoes. I'm glad they made it, considering the bag didn't do so well, okay? I thought this order was never gonna get here. I really thought that. And let me give you, oh, and let me give you my experience with talking to customer service because I called customer, I didn't call. I was doing the online chat with customer service. And I was like, hey, I still don't have my package to stop tracking after I left California. What's going on? It's been over 12 days. It stopped tracking completely. I think I might be lost. Can I get a refund? Because I think it's lost. And they were not trying to give me a refund. They weren't. They were like, no, um, give it some more time. And uh, that was it. They were like, no, there was like no refund to be had. And that was just a few days ago. Then all of a sudden I got my package. So that was my experience with customer service. Let's keep going. Um, the next item I have here is the Silky Concealer um, Beauty Cream. Now, as you can tell, that's what happened to it. during. That's why the bag was all jacked up. During transport, it didn't it didn't come in very good shape. So hopefully, you know, hopefully it's okay. And let's check her out. And this is why I wanted to do it on my own because I wanted to get a real feel of how all this was actually going to play out in real life. And how long it was going to take. Okay, so let's open up this package to see in better days. Okay, so this is the concealer. The Mushroom BB, BB Cream Concealer. It looks like it's still in good condition. Okay, oh, it's not. Look. Okay, so this came damaged. Some of that cream came out of it. Uh... It looks like that right there. The cream started coming all out of it. Uh, yeah, so it was damaged. So I'm going to report that damaged. But it's supposed to go like that. And then you have your, your little thing and you go like this. Okay, so that's the BB cream. And it's actually having a hard time closing. I think this is off kilter because of the damage. Okay. All right, so, and then that actually is cute though. It's a it's a cute concept. That's why I, I don't wanna get all messed up. And then you place that here. So when you do your makeup, the holder is right here. You open it up, you do your BB cream. It has this really nice sponge and you go like this. And that's how it works. And this was $3.48. And that's called the Mushroom Cushion BB Cream. Okay, so let's put that here. The next thing is the three piece, and this one got a little jacked up. If this would have been a gift, um, I would have been a little bit upset. She could tell the box just, it just didn't do that well. Um, the three piece peach matte nonstick um, lip gloss, peach soft waxy lips supposed to be tricolor soft colors I should say and this was three no this is four dollars and 48 cents again um, the sides are even open like the little glue stuff is even open and the box is, is damaged right there okay that's how it came to me mm. it's like it looks like it's already open it's kind of like geeking me out a little bit but let's check it out. Okay, these are super cute. And this is number one. And let's see if we can get her open so that we can see what it looks like. Oh, uh, okay. How does this go? Oh, look. Okay, so this is how it goes. Then you gotta twist it. And then it's like a little a little gloss thing here, okay? So there's, uh, there's number one. I don't really, this applicator is like a really hard stick. It's not like a real doe foot. Um, this color is, 
this color is pretty, but it's hard to apply. So, okay. Let's try number two. Number two. Okay, number two is like this really pretty red color. And this it's not the best applicator, but there you go. Bright red. Really pretty bright red. Okay. And then number three is this color and we'll put it right here in the front. I know it's all very it's hard to do it. And there's number three right there. Really pretty. Okay. So these got cute colors. They do. They got cute colors. Very nice. All right. Let me mark that off. Then I did pick up this really cute nail set. Um, obviously the nails didn't stay inside the holder, but it's, they're called Milk Cow. Do you see how it's that little cow motif on there? And it actually has a little, the little face of a cow right there. Do you see the little face actually sticks up? You see it actually sticks up right there. Little face of the cow. It's 3D. See that? I thought that was so cute and different. Um, I thought it would just be a really cute pair of nails to wear during like the summer. Just to have something cute and funny and fun to wear. So that was 98 cents. And I know those are still available because I went online. And they're still available. Okay, this next one is called the Jewel Light Lasting Lip Color. Okay, Jewel Light Lasting Lip Color. Let's check her out. It's still packaged up nicely, which is great. I like the packaging. It's really pretty. It has like a lot of uh, like um, animal glitter type of um, print to it, which is really nice. All right. And this one is in number five. So let's see which one this is. Ooh, this is that really pretty one. Okay, so I believe, you see how gorgeous that is? I believe this is a moisturizing, I think this is the moisturizing lip balm, I think. I don't want to tell you the wrong thing. <laughs> I don't want to tell you the wrong thing, girls. No, I don't. Let me see if I can still pull it up. Okay, it was just up. So I can tell you what it is. Order details. Okay, so this little beauty is the moisturizing lip balm for $2.38. And you pop her open like so, and it's yellow. And it's supposed to have like um, these moisturizing properties. Mm hmm I don't like the smell. I should have smelled it first. Mm. Mm. It has a... It's very moisturizing. It's very moisturizing. But it has a smell to it. A smell that lends itself to being old. But I have to look at the properties... Because it might be something else, but it has that smell like it's, yeah, it has like that smell, but it's not, I don't feel anything weird. Normally when it smells old, I feel it on my lips immediately and it's still very moisturizing. So it might be a component within the properties to this that's got a smell like that. Okay, so let me cross this out. That was $2.38. All right, these are my honest reviews. This next one is uh, a highlighter, and I got it purely for the packaging. I'm not going to say here and lie. I got it purely for the packaging. This was $2.79, if this is the right one. Um, let's see. 
I'm going to have to break open this package in the way that they have it. Okay, I'm going to have to bust this sucker open. They have so many stickers around it that it's like I'm going to have to break open the box to get it out. I'm hoping that it's not broken since the bag didn't do well at all in transit. And it broke because of all the tape that you see that I shared with you. Okay, this one, no, this one is not that one. Okay, wait a minute. Hmm. Let me open her up. No, it is. Okay, so it is. Okay, so this one is a blush highlighter makeup with this really cool, um, beautiful girl on the front. This is $279 blush highlighter. And we'll pop her open. It does have a mirror. It does have a mirror. And then that's the color. And I thought it was very unusual. And I love the face of the woman. And let's do, because I figured, a, you know, a highlighter this color is very interesting. But I thought I can use it as a eyeshadow. Because the color was really interesting. So that's just me going over it very gently. And not hardcore. There we go. And I'll put it right here. There you go. That's what it looks like. So that's what I wanted it for it more to put it on my eyes. Very pretty packaging. Very pretty. Okay. That one's nice. I like that one. I do. I like that one. Okay. The next one is this one here. And this is an eyeliner, a 24 hour eyeliner. 24 hour eyeliner and this is waterproof for $2 and 78 cents and let's pop her open obviously this one did well in transit this one did very well in transit and um, it looks like this is beautiful packaging looks very pretty very unusual and let's see how it opens am I still packed up here yeah it's still packed up okay wait a minute because I want to open it up and share it with you guys it is covered in plastic here I'm trying to find the sweet spot you know where it actually lets you take everything off okay I found it all right is that all of it it's got to be more is that all of it no. Yeah, no, this more. This is not easy to take off. Okay, so I broke it open. Here we go. All right. So that's what it looks like without the packaging, without the plastic packaging. And then let's see how this thing opens. Okay, so you just pop that off, and then here's the eyeliner. And let's do the eyeliner. Eyeliner. And it's supposed to be waterproof. Very pretty. That doesn't come off in the bottom. So you just pop off the top. Very, very pretty. I like it. Okay, this next one was inside this package here. So that was the eyeliner waterproof. We got that. Then this next one is the metallic liquid eyeshadow. This one was very, uh, it's supposed to be a tri-color. It's supposed to have like a cool effect. Um, shimmer eyeshadow for a dollar seventy eight. So when you take it out, the package it looks like this, and they had different colors. This is the one I chose because I wanted to see what it what it looks like first, okay? Before you deep dive and get like two or three colors. Um, again, a dollar seventy eight, and let's here we go, and it looks like that it has that kind of applicator, and let's. So that's that color. But if you look, it's supposed to have like a tri-color. You see how it turns like a little green? Yeah. See, I can see it here. You can't. There on the screen is coming out like a bronze. Here in person is coming out like a green and bronze. So here in person is doing it a whole different color. Okay. This is pretty cool. I like this. I like that. Okay, the next item 
this is really pretty eyeshadow palette. Oh, I hope, I hope all the colors like came in one piece because the bag, you know. So this is, I think, the retro glitter eyeshadow. Yeah, so I think it's the only eyeshadow for $3.98. And let's pop her open. Interesting thing right off the bat, um, it's a very romantic feel and it has like this um, lace here to keep it closed. Then let's open her up and it does have a mirror, a nice big mirror here. Here's the cover and then let me flip that over and then it has these beautiful colors and if you look at this, look at this, look at that, um, here we go. Look at that gorgeous plastic all the way around. Look at this. Look at that. And these are the colors. So the very neutral, I wanted to see, you know, what it was about very neutrally. And um, the mirror is gorgeous, as you could tell, very almost fairy tale-ish. And then it has all these gorgeous little peaks, almost like crown molding. A really interesting palette. Um, let's try one color. Let's try maybe one or two colors. So let's try this. Um, this is covered. I'm going to have to take that off to use it. So I'm going to try the shimmer. I'm going to try the shimmer. Uh, this one and this one. Okay. Those are the colors. Let me close this up. And this palette, again, was $3.98. And I'm going to put all three colors right here. There we go. Those are the three colors. Hmm. Uh, can't see them very well. But over here, I see them a little bit better than I do there. So these are going to have to be built up. So they're very, very, very light super light even though they look like they're pigmented they're very lightly pigmented so there you go I just have to you just gotta you know work with it a little bit more to get more color you know you just gotta deep dive into it but I did pick out two really light colors a shimmer the shimmer should have came out a little bit more but it's okay it's okay so there you go. Very light color palette if you're into your, your light colors. Okay. And there you go. And there you have it. Now, the next thing I picked up, let me cross this off. I don't know if that was the retro glitter eyeshadow. No, that's not the right. Was that the, was that the eye palette that I told you about? I want to make sure I give you the right stuff. Mm, let me see. Okay. Actually, that was $3.98. Yeah, that's the Retro Glitter Eyeshadow palette. That was, I was right. Okay. The next one is this uh, makeup remover pad. Now, this was $1.18. And from my understanding let me see it's really nice they had four different colors okay they come in four different colors they come in a brown pink white and a black and I picked out the pink very cushiony and it's by clean it just says clean sponge very soft very soft and nice Okay, so that's nice to, uh, you know, wash off your cosmetics from your face. Then I did also pick up this right here, Exquisite Lipstick. Oh, these are the, chop the chocolate lipsticks. Okay. These are the chocolate lipsticks, and these were $3.49. I didn't think they were going to be this small. It looked bigger online, but most things look bigger online versus what you get. Uh, you know how that goes. But they looked fun. They, they looked different. So let's pop her open. Let's pop her open. And this is what it looks like. Little chocolate lipsticks. Okay. And it looks like the packaging is like that. 
Then you pop her open. And these were again $3.49. So it's supposed to, let's, let's look at, it's three colors it looks like. So let's do the three different variations here. Let me put the rest in here. So they look almost like little, little bigger style chocolates. So the white one has that color. And let's do right there. That's that color. Very small and cute and petite. The, the light brown has this color. Put it right next to the white one. And that's that color right there. And then the dark brown. These are really tiny. <laughs> has this color. There you go. Is that color right there in the bottom. It's really pretty. Very, very cute novelty. And that's why I got it. I love cute packaging. Love it. I just wish they were a little bit bigger. But they're super cute. They're super cute. Okay. Very cute. Next item. I did pick up by Mac Andy, um, three color lipstick, three color lipstick. So I think it's a waterproof lipstick that I'm going to be talking about here. So I did do the chocolate that that was a chocolate lipstick set for three forty nine, and yeah, okay. So this is called the waterproof lipstick. Let's pop her open. Has a lot of plastic on it. Really pretty packaging though, right? I noticed that they have a lot of Mac Andy items, including some perfumes. Um, I didn't get any Mac at Andy perfumes this time around because this is my first order. Um, and it looks like that. You open her up and she looks like this. And I got it because it looks cool. I'm gonna keep it real. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a package girl. So what you can do is once you pop this out, and I'm going to keep this box because I'm going to be able to turn this into a dollhouse miniature bed. I do dollhouse miniatures. Make sure you check out my playlist for that. I'll put it up here in the eye in the sky and look at all the cool stuff that I make. And I'll be sharing a lot more. I can cut this out and put it in my dollhouse miniatures and use it as a bed. Um, let's take a look at this. So you technically, if you wanted to carry this with you and just use it as a pendant slash piece of jewelry, I'm a jewelry hound too, guys. I did not get not one piece of jewelry in this haul. Not one. I didn't. I know I didn't do it. Um, you can attach it to there and then you have a necklace. So let's look at this lipstick. The lipstick. Okay, so you pop this open like that. And then this is the lipstick color. Now, I don't remember it being this dark. I don't <laughs> I didn't. I didn't pick a dark color like this. But look, that's the color it comes out. It comes out that red. Even though it looks like it's black, it comes out that red. Isn't that pretty? Even though it's this. It's that color right there. Very interesting. Very interesting. Yeah, that is cool. I have to say that is very cool. And I like the fact that you can like wear it like jewelry and you want to retouch your lips and not have to carry a purse or something. Very nice. Okay. Let me cross that out because I got that. That I really like that. That is very cool looking. That was $3.48. Now the next item I got is a cat. A cat may look at a king. And um, that's what it says here. I know I got two different ones. This one's Sandalwood Road. Sandalwood Road. And this is an Edu perfume. They do have perfumes on there. And I wanted to see what they were like, you know, because I'm a perfume head. I do share my fragrances and what have you. I do have a playlist for that as well up here in the eye in the sky if you want to go check it out. Um, let's see. I do a good mix of hauls and shares and try-ons and everything. So here we go. So that's what it looks like. This one's Sandalwood Road. And very pretty packaging has a little cat motif on there. Um, let's see. Sprayer is nice. Let's give it a minute. It's 
super light, super light scent. It's like a skin scent. It's like on you. Super light. But pretty. If you enjoy sandalwood, this is not an overwhelming scent. It's not. Very light. Okay. I'm going to be using this. It's so light that I can't even smell it from here. I have to be like this to smell it. So this will be the kind that I put on my pillow at night. When I'm right on top of it, I'll be able to enjoy it. It is a very nice, pleasant sandalwood. Very light, smooth, not overwhelming, but too light to use for real world purposes. Um, this next one is by the same company called Berlin Girl. Berlin Girl, and it's with the cat. And they had three different fragrances, but I chose just to get two. The box is a little smashed up from the travels. And let's pull her out. Yeah, I can't even smell the fragrance at all. I can't smell it. I can smell it right here, but I can't smell it. Okay, so this one has a really pretty red juice to it. Oh my God. Is the lid going to come? Oh my God. It took forever for me to get that lid off. Okay. So I'm going to spray Berlin Girl over here. Nice sprayer. This one's stronger. This one I can smell from right here. This one is a lot stronger compared to the other one. It's a pretty floral. It's a little bit... Let me see if I can describe this one for you. It is a floral that has a very, I don't want to use the word pungent. It has a very strong note to it of a particular flower. And I can't put my hand on it. But it reminds me, oh, I hate to say this. It reminds me a little bit of like bathroom room spray. Like just when you get the nice glade bathroom room, room sprays and they smell good and it's like a floral that's what it reminds me of so I think I'll I'm not even going to put the lid on it because I can't take the lid back off okay so um that will be just used in the bathroom and let me tell you the prices for those two now if this one had any kind of scent to it at all I can't even smell it anymore. Sandalwood, the scent is completely gone. Completely gone. Don't buy these. Don't buy these. Save your money. Um, the last one is, it is a, uh, a du Parfum. And it's called Lua Galaxy. It's by a different company. Okay. Let's pop her open. Lua Galaxy, I'm sorry, these were $4.48, so that's 10 bucks just down the drain. These are $5.99, $5.99. Now, I do have stuff in, in a cart for them. It's other things that I wanted to try, and I, I'm thinking if I should even bother, because I'm not, it's like I'm torn. I like half the stuff I got, and I don't like the other half. I'm kind of just... I'm kind of like torn. So let's see if we have any success with this one. Okay, so very pretty packaging. Almost reminds me of a what? Coco Chanel, Mademoiselle Chanel number no. five type of a bottle. If you look at it, the liquid does have this really pretty shimmer to it. And I believe this is a singular scent from this company that looks like that. There you go. This was $5.99. And let's spray it. I don't want to spray it there because the box has like a, the box has like a little bit of a scent. So this it's gone. This is, I smell nothing from this anymore. So I'll be able to spray this here again. <laughs> it's completely gone. Just that fast. Oh, wow. This one is a lot stronger. I can smell it from right here. And it's pretty. 
It has something that's kind of tangy, but it's a pretty floral. And when I smell it, it smells like something like a little yellowish in the back, like a yellow floral with a little sour, tangy note to it. This might work well during the summer, but not during the winter. During the summer with the heat, I th I'm thinking this might work better. Would I buy it again? No. But it's pretty. I mean, it's it's okay. Would I recommend it? Probably not because it has a tangy, like this tangy, sour, high note to it. But I haven't worn it like for a couple of hours or anything. It hasn't fully developed. Normally, you need to let it develop on your skin or on your clothing. I didn't spray it on my clothes, so it might react differently and the scent will carry differently versus my skin. Um, so always, you know, give your perfumes a good wear test for a couple of days and let it fully develop. But off the bat, first impressions, no, I wouldn't recommend this. You know, save your money for something else. So there you go. So what do I think about Timu? I'm torn. The package was messed up. Some of my stuff came damaged. It took forever. It was late. I ordered it November 30th. Some stuff was good and some stuff was bad. So I'm kind of like in between. So there's my personal review for Timu. I guess you can make up your own mind once you get your things and see how well they work for you. Thanks for coming by and talk to y'all later. Bye.